I lie a lot. I go and I return, then I go, then I return, then I go, then I return. I've been going back and forth mostly because I have no idea what to do with my content. I don't want to say I want to try something new. I want to try something people haven't done. Oops, sorry. People haven't done yet. And that is um, talking about games. Then I look around and people have done that. And I like games and I love anime. I love games, I love anime, I love cartoon, I love animation in the whole and gaming itself. Uh, but, and I want to share my opinions on gaming itself or and anime and cartoons. And eventually, if I ever get in shape, I'll probably talk about exercising. Uh, that could probably be helpful for people who is lazy as me who does almost nothing for in their life. So, what is the difference between skills and level? Well, I will take first on skills. Skills is mostly... Well, oh yeah, by the way, this is something I want to talk about. Skills is something you is based on how good you are on the game. And the level, well, you just level up and you get... Let's say, you want more attack to be more offensive. And you do that, but then you meet the guy who's, let's say you're level 25 and you have really good stat with most of the offensive, and you meet the level, uh, let's say, 5, and that guy has uh, a lot of uh, health. Example, just an example. Then, the obvious, like, most of the time, the guy with the higher level will win. Of course, it'll be harder one for the one level 5. Because he have barely any attack, uh, so he will struggle to take down the guy's health. But as the guy have focused more on offensive, it's kind of like a 50-50. But mostly on for the level 25, as he got a lot of uh, offensive abilities. Like, let's say a falcon punch, or a fire punch, or a ice punch, or a something kind of punchy. Because I like punching. Uh, this, oh, so, let's say the guy uh, on level 25 does his uh, strong attack, uh, or ultimate, which is like, uh, he does a ton of punches and kicks, then he charges his punch, and do a very powerful punch. <laughs> um, uh, it's, and then it will uh, eventually explode, and all, pretty much kill the person in one hit. In level five, uh, that's the guy on twenty five have more offensive. On skill behave, uh, then it the levels is not there. You both have, uh, let's say, a different attack set. One had more like punchy, kicky, and the one other have more projectile types. I will use Tekken for the ex and Street Fighter as an example. Uh, let's say King, he's a grappler. Uh, he doesn't focus it on punching so much, uh, but he has more excellent uh, power of punches and kicks to count, uh, that he can use to as country. But it's mostly on grappling. And from uh, Street Fighter, uh, I'll just, uh, let's say Ken. He focuses on some projectile, but mostly on kicks and punches. But mostly now kicks. Um, then you have... Uh, then you're playing. Then it's supposed to be mostly how much to block and how much you counter against, let's say, Ken or uh, like the king blocks against Ken. Because as it, at the more, the less damage Ken gets from all the combos Ken does towards him. Also, if it's a 3D game, it's be a, a lot easier as you can just go to the side and then counter. But I'm not really good at that. Um, then there's the um, other part, uh, let's say King will do, let's say, a suplex, then it's really easy to counter, you just have to press two buttons. Uh, that, ex that he did with that suplex, I think, or you just, you just press any two buttons, I think, I don't fully remember. And then you just keep 
then he does if uh, K manages to do the suplex he does the suplex and if he fails the suplex he fails the suplex and just can just pushes him uh, in that animation then the fight is back and forth and whoever got the most uh, experience with his uh, character wins and that's then the ba skill based um, and also what I have problems with levels in most games is it goes above level 100 uh, this is a, one of the biggest problems I have with a lot of games I have met games that have that you can also if you have game is have like it doesn't have any level maximum you can ha uh, be to level 999 billion or something uh, it uh, what what does that for you well it uh, it pretty much broke the game the guy with 999 billion level can just one punch any level one uh, and go for a slight amount on him and he'll all you see is just his feet or his insides everywhere. That would be rather brutal though, if someone actually did that uh, in a game. Uh, but then, if you make that game on skills, and uh, everyone, let's say everyone is the same, and uh, everyone have different characters, someone is projectile, someone is grapple, someone is striking, and accelerate etc then it's mostly your experience with your striking and the projectile the catcher have and if you know all the projectiles and if you know all the uh, striking abilities uh, or anything you have a bigger chance or, and you're slightly more prepared uh, this is also the same time with Tekken tournaments uh, I think uh, all, all the uh, champions today uh, have research of their uh, in a way opponents catcher of course that's the more weak way I like to call it where you just hook your opponents catcher uh, and spy on him but it's a very good strategy if you want to win and what that does then and difference between skills and level is huge because you can't merge them let's say uh, WWE 2k18 it's a new game it's on and it's very broken very 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 broken uh, not broken levels uh, this is a mix of skills and level actually uh, I haven't met seen any games that actually does that uh, you could actually get beaten by a uh, let's say a 50 overall while you're at 90 uh, it's really nice I think uh, everything is uh, possible in that game I think that system is real balanced and also I think that the reversal system is amazing because then you have a very balanced system because then all the rest you'd press the R2 all day long but like one bro come on that'd be very boring uh, that that's why I really like the reversal system and if you don't like the reversal system turn it off and play with yourself <laughs> just throw fact salts and it's another game in mind uh, then there's the new Pro Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I've seen a lot of footage of it. It's a 2D a project, all in a way. It, it seems amazing. I want to play it myself. I play. I, I I'm excited to play it. And all the characters there have different uh, stats, and then it'll be also in skills actually. And this would be pretty cool if more games kind of did this like and I see a lot of ca a lot of um, games that does this uh, that you have to base it on your skill that you have to base on your skills but I also see a lot of games that it goes to the levels I think it's levels are okay uh, 
solo is probably like MMO, uh, like uh, Final Fantasy, uh, Fallout, probably, uh, and probably Skyrim. Not Tamriel though. Uh, uh, I don't like the level the system there fully. Yeah, I'll, actually, let me tell you my problem about Tamriel a bit quickly before I end this video. Tamriel level system, or the system there for me, is a bit bullshit. Uh, there's no skill based, it's all level based. Uh, and armor and equipment, and just it's just level based, there's no skill based there. Uh, I looked a lot of videos up just to see if I can convince myself to actually try this game. And I kind of did, and I checked the game, and I was slightly disappointed. Uh, for the, mostly for the loot system, you can no longer loot the uh, armor, uh, which I got really sad about. Uh, so I can't full customize my character, and I get more gold. And then the game feels more grindy that way, and ca uh, now everything is nearly impossible. Uh, uh, you have to you look you can't fight anything uh, when I'm trying to fight let's say a, a golem and I'm level 15 that should be possible and I shouldn't be one hit killed uh, in my opinion either way uh, if you ever become a game developer try to have a nice system between two have or uh, have a skill based game but never have a fully level system that focuses mostly on levels. Uh, either um, focus on both or skills, is my opinion. If your game focuses on levels, it's a bad game, in my opinion at least, because then it will feel grindy and it will feel bullshit. Either way, that have been everything from me. I hope that my opinions was clear. And okay, if you don't like my opinion, that's fine. And if you like my opinion, then f sh share this video. <laughs> I've never thought I would say that. <laughs> but sharing is caring. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> I'll see you guys probably in future. Opus out.